What's going on guys? Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of my updated garage setup and toolbox tour, toolboxes tour, um, because I have a second one now. I'm still working out of the same garage. As a speed three is here, still at the, the parents casa, but hopefully soon I will be moving out and getting my own garage so I can set it up however I want. We'll start off with this box because you've already seen this one. Um, if you would like, I will uh, post the my old toolbox tour and garage setup um, down in the description so you can check it out if you'd like um, to see kind of the transformation if you haven't seen that video. I have a US General uh, tool cart here. I will preface this by saying I am not a professional mechanic. I do not work on customer cars or anything like that. I use a jack and jack stands and I work off my back. I just am kind of a hobbyist, a car enthusiast. So. Any work that I can do to my own cars, I do. I'm constantly learning. I'm lucky to have friends that are very knowledgeable with cars and know what they're doing. Here, I have pretty much all of my sockets. They're a mixture between half inch, quarter inch, and three eighths. I have deep well impacts here. Um, I have chromies from Walmart that are deep well. Uh, these are both half inch. And then I have three eighths here. Uh, deep well, these are husky, I believe, and then shallow uh, husky sockets here. Got this, like, I don't know, off Amazon, I forget the brand, but it's magnetic holders, which is pretty cool. Um, and this has all of my um, quarter inch drive uh, sockets. So I have a deep well up here, and then shallows down there. These are my main kind of go-to. Like back here I have, you know, like an axle nut socket and um, spark plug sockets and uh, this is a strut spreader. I have some fast orange back here. This is a like brake bleeder um, container. I have a mask here. Um, brand new gloves that I haven't used at all. Um, those are just kind of up there. I have some metal zip ties. This is just like quick ratchets if I'm like quick need to go uh, and grab something and I'm not grabbing it out of the big toolbox. I'll just grab these. Uh, this is a quarter inch drive and then a three eighths. Um, they're just some cheap. I have no idea the brand, um, but yeah, I just kind of keep them there. These are um, like the lug nut sockets that I use the most. Um, these are really nice, inexpensive. I think I got these off Amazon. Uh, they just have that uh, plastic kind of like sheath over the um, socket so it doesn't like mess up your wheels, which is pretty nice. So I use these all the time. These are like my, my go-to gloves when I'm working on cars. I have different hose attachments for my shop vac. I have a lighter here just in case. I mean, you just never know. Uh, some pencils and markers paint pen if I need to mark anything, a bolt or whatever. This is my main set of screwdrivers. Um, they're by ne Neko, I think is the brand. I really like this brand. It's just like stubbies, um, you know, all different size, Phillips head and flat head screwdrivers there. Um, so just kind of upgraded and got a little bit nicer of a set. Uh, this is kind of my mix matched ones, uh, you know, other ones that I, I use quite frequently. Magnetic US General glove holder, which is very nice. Zip ties always in the corner here. My anchor uh, speaker that I have out here all the time. I have a nicer JBL one that I bring out most of the time, but if I forget or whatever and I wanna put some twos on, uh, this fills up the garage quite well. Safety glasses. Uh, so this is just a bubble level that I have, uh, magnetic. Uh, bolt tray, which I have another one I think attached to that box. And all my extensions, uh, like swivel extensions, um, just miscellaneous metric uh, sockets, wobble like extensions, uh, which are quite nice, or adapters or whatever. Um, then I have different adapters, like this is uh, half inch to three eighths, and uh, you know, three eighths to half inch, etc., etc. Um, just miscellaneous open end wrenches here, a couple of old like snap on ones. Um, I have some drill bits here. We'll go on to this one. 
This is my kind of hodgepodge, um, just catch all drawer sort of thing. I have like picks in here, oil filter tool, um, AC belt tool, tape measures in here, box cutters, scissors. All my magnetic pickup tools are in here. There's like a mirror there. Um, again, that Nico brand. Flashlights, uh, a couple of punches, and that sort of thing in that drawer. This next one here is all of like my pliers, all of my vice grips there, um, metal shears, my really nice set of uh, Allen keys there, wire strippers, and just uh, like my um, coilover tools back here. Yeah, Nipex Cobras, if you don't have them, highly recommend them. Nipex is a great brand and hopefully I will get more of their tools soon. This next drawer here, uh, these are all like my open ends. Um, so I have a whole set off Amazon of uh, flex head, ratcheting, wrenches. Uh, these are some E-sockets here. Another set of quarter inch uh, drive shallow sockets. Allen's Torx here. An old ratchet that's broken, long open ends. These are uh, a set of offset uh, wrenches, a big um, adjustable wrench, and um, yeah, that's pretty much that drawer. Get into this one. Uh, this is where I house all of my batteries from my walkie stuff. I have a black Indecker drill here that I still use, it still works good. Um, but I have a Milwaukee set as well, actually two sets of Milwaukee. But anyways, uh, those are my M12 and M18 batteries in that drawer. Down below here, um, I just have another cheap set of uh, open end wrenches. Uh, I keep like all my screws down here, my ch Milwaukee charger, more latex gloves, uh, sets of the plastic like interior clips, uh, uh, you know, for like door panels and that sort of thing that always break. Just an assortment of them. Uh, in this box I have all of like my assorted uh, like nuts and bolts. And then um, I have my uh, the extension to the uh, jack down here. I have some more gloves, some car parts and, and whatnot. Just kind of mix of, of things down here. On the side of my box I have my paper towel holder. Um, over here, I'll mention I made some ramps for the speed. Uh, so when I have to jack it up, I drive it on those because this car is very low. Move on to the bench here. This was an awesome purchase. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace from a guy for like 50 bucks. Um, great deal, it's a butcher block uh, top, you know, really thick and sturdy. And it's a perfect size. I, I don't know the exact dimensions on it, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Have my vise attached to it here, um, which has gotten quite a bit of use. Um, I now have a uh, heat storm heater in here. So like if I am doing work in the winter, the garage is not insulated, which really sucks, but this does help quite a bit if I'm just doing something like on the bench here. Um, it blows hot air directly on your hands and, and keeps your hands warm and that sort of thing. And if I was working on the car, it does heat the space a little bit uh, higher than, than it normally would be. So my bench grinder, I've used it all of one time. So I guess we'll move under here. I just have some saw horses, some different like foam kneeling pads for, you know, when I'm working on the car. Um, shop rags here. In this box, I just have extra car parts like hoses and, and things like that. Down here, I just have a tiny compressor. I don't even know how many gallons it is, like four gallons or something. Shop vac here. The stool that everybody has from Harbor Freight is it's really nice. I need to get another one. Jack stands, I believe these are four ton or five ton uh, with the round top, which is really nice. Uh, I got those recently from my girlfriend for our anniversary. So thank you, Autumn, for, for that. Harbor Freight low profile jack that literally everybody and their grandmother has, but 
they work great. And then I just have uh, some three-tone big red jack stands over there. So I have a full set of four. Um, here I have a fan, so when it gets hot in the summer like it is now, I'll have that blowing on me while I'm working on the cars, and uh, it, it helps you cool off just a little bit. And then this is a whole hodgepodge of shit. I did say that I've gotten into woodworking a little bit, so I have a miter saw here. That's where that sits on my Husky. I think this is like a 56 inch toolbox. Um, it's a very good size. It's pretty deep as well, which is nice. Um, it's awesome to have kind of two working stations. My Ryobi like push tool for my table saw, um, which is up there hanging on the wall. And uh, anyways, let's get back to the toolbox. Here I have all my ratchets. Uh, so I have a half inch. Uh, these are all Harbor Freight guys, Pittsburgh ratchets. Um, so I have a half inch, a three eighths uh, swivel one, and uh, just a regular three eighths, and then a quarter inch Stanley. Um, and those are my, my main uh, go-to ratchets. Um, I definitely could use some more, but uh, for now, these have gotten me by just fine. Uh, this is a spark plug or socket with the extension on it. Uh, my multimeter here, this is a grease gun box with different fittings for my grease gun. Um, I have a Amazon EP Auto uh, torque wrench here. Uh, I believe this one goes from like 10 foot pounds to like 250 foot pounds. And then I have my AC Delco uh, half inch digital torque wrench, which is very nice. Pry bar is up here. Another impact, uh, half inch impact socket set. Um, some mounts for my roof rack box. So uh, those just kind of are chilling in there for right now. I have some wire brushes here. Um, I have a half inch breaker bar and then a three eighths breaker bar. So this first drawer here is just um, a bunch of clamps for like woodworking and that sort of thing. This is really nice, a countersink drill bit set, a Husky light that I use all the time, um, some 3M tape, and then some different um, like Dremel uh, bits here. This box is not nearly as full. This one was like overflowing in the last video that I made and I needed uh, more more space to put things so i got a new box but um this one is not full so just to preface that the next drawer here tester light um if that makes sense i forget the technical name this is a set of milwaukee bit set i have a stud finder here now these are all uh, wobble extensions from uh nico i believe as well very inexpensive um caliper compression tool here it's like a whole set uh, highly recommend them i think they're like twenty dollars and they come with the little hooks to hang the caliper which is super nice um, and they come in handy you don't have to go to the parts store and rent one just buy one they're like 20 bucks and they work very very well some plastic razor blades and then my file set here i have a whole amazon set of uh, sledgehammers and mallet uh, just a normal hammer down here. Again, more room in that drawer. This bottom drawer here is a deep one. This is where I house all of my Milwaukee tools. Um, I have a Milwaukee M12 uh, tire inflator here. My half inch imp uh, big impact. I have, these are just the Milwaukee bags. I bring these uh, if I'm like gonna work on my car, help a friend out. Um, I can throw my tools in these bags and then take them with me. The Impact Milwaukee uh, M12 ratchet. This thing is sick. Uh, very glad that I picked this up when I did. It was on sale um, and had a great deal with like a free battery or whatever. Uh, I think I bought it from Home Depot. Um, M12 electric ratchet. Um, M12 drill and driver set. Um, stubby. Uh, this is a uh, half inch stubby impact. I really want the 3 8 one as well. Um, and I kind of wish I got this in 3 8 um, I just find myself using 3 8 quite a bit more than half inch uh, with this particular tool, but eventually I'll, I'll get uh, the 3 8 version. 
This is um, an M12 uh, drill and driver set as well. Um, I got these from work, so that was really cool. Interior panel, uh, like, tool set. All right, so this drawer, um, again, still room to grow. I have um, my speed squares. I have um, a nice large ruler here, interior panel stuff. Cut off wheels for my angle grinder. I have a DeWalt set of drill bits. I have my Craig jig, a uh, pocket hole jig. This one is empty. We have another empty one here. Skill saw here. Um, I have a orbital sander here. My um, angle grinder there. And uh, my jigsaw there. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I do have more videos to come. I know I haven't posted in a hot minute. But I've just been super busy with life, full-time job. I'm not putting a ton of money into cars right now just because that's not where my priorities are right now, just in life. My series, Car Chronicles, I appreciate all the love on uh, that first video. I will be making more. I will be doing at least two, hopefully, by the end of this summer. Um, I have one lined up with a buddy of mine, and I'm very excited to show you his car and his story. Hopefully we'll be able to film that soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, stay safe, and peace out.